아저씨 아이들. 
in front of it. Yakin and Boaz. Yakin and Boaz. The Hezekiah Tunnel project is underway. If you listen closely, you can still hear echoes of these ancient voices. The two groups of quarrymen making their way towards each other through the thick of the world. And on the day that the two groups of men tunneling for each other met, they greeted each other at the axe. And the water flowed from the source to the pool, 1,200 cubits. The preparations for war have been completed. The Assyrians have invaded the kingdom of Judah, and Sancharib's armies are stationed on all the hills surrounding the city. Facing them, all alone, stands the prophet Isaiah. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow there. By the way that he came, by the same he shall return, and shall not come into the city, says the Lord. And what do you think happened? The Bible relates that the residents of the city woke up one day and saw that the Assyrian siege had been lifted. Jerusalem was saved. More than a century passed until a new danger threatened the city, the Babylonians. The prophet Jeremiah prophesizes that the city will be destroyed, for a city that has no justice loses its right to exist. Jeremiah entreats Zedekiah, the last king of Judah, to surrender to the Babylonians, but the king refuses to listen. 
As the Babylonians approach the city, the prophet who preached surrender finds himself imprisoned in a pit. Can you hear the Babylonian troops laying siege to the city? From here, from inside the pit, everything sounds so distant. The prophet is in prison, helpless, and there, up above, the city is about to be destroyed. Jerusalem is about to go up in flames, and all the water in the Gihon Spring will not put the fire out. Jerusalem was resettled in the days of the Second Temple, and then it was ruined by the Romans. For 2,000 years the city passed from hand to hand, but the Jewish people never forgot its eternal capital. Towards the end of the 19th century, when the new neighborhoods were built outside the walls of the old city, the Miotis family was the first to build its home in the city of David. On the opposite slope, a neighborhood of Yemenite Jews was established and later abandoned. However, in the early 1990s, the Ir David Foundation re-established a Jewish residential community in the city of David within the national park surrounding the walls of Jerusalem. 3,000 years after King David, we have returned to the hill where it all began. From here, from the ancient part of Jerusalem, the city has expanded generation after generation. Jerusalem is renewed as the eternal capital of the state of Israel. streets again, buildings from all eras adorn it, and at its heart one little hill stands eternal, the hill of the city of David, the place from which everything began. 